Welcome to another episode of Out of Spec Dave, where today you see there's a white Model S here, but it's not your average Model S. It's the Tesla service vehicle. And they've pulled in right next to my Model S over here where I work. Now, why are they here? I've got a rear right door handle that's a little sticky. And they called up, they were supposed to come tomorrow to my house, which I think is great, but the, the guy called me this morning from Tesla and said, hey, can I stop by your place of work today? I said, sir, come on. So let's see what happens here. I hope that they can fix this thing remotely. This is gonna be great. I'm so excited. It's the only thing wrong with my car. But look at this, two white Model S's here, one coming to the rescue of the other. You gotta love it. I love Tesla. This is great. So after living with my Model S, the refresh, the 2021 for a little while, I noticed that the rear right door handle was a little bit sticky. Now, when you walked up to the car, the handles, they present themselves. They all popped out, all four of them fine. But when you went to open up and pull the rear right door handle, which is Bailey's door, um, it just wouldn't work. I would pull it once, twice. And then I figured out that you really have to pull it hard and then it would open. So it's not as if it didn't work but it's definitely something that, that needed to be fixed. Now, when you wanna put in a service request for Tesla, it's not like you give them a call. What you do is you go on the app and you schedule a service appointment. And, I, and, and so what I've discovered is that certain things are actually handled by the Tesla remote team where they actually come out and they can fix the car, whatever the problem is. Um, you know, a certain, I guess a certain set of things that don't have to go into the actual repair center, uh, they'll come right to you. And as a matter of fact, I made a podcast about this just the other day uh, with Jordan on the Out of Spec podcast channel. So you should check that out. Um, I've had good experiences with that and I've had sort of poor experiences with that. So today I'm going to take you through the situation in, in terms of what it is that you actually do. So there, there is an app everyone knows um, who has a Tesla. If you don't know, um, there's a great app that you have when you when you have a Tesla and it allows you to actually do a multitude of things and monitor your car, where it is, how fast it's going. If your son or daughter or wife is taking the car, you can see exactly where they are and exactly how fast they're going. But there's a module on there which is called service. And when you click on that module, there's a an app that comes up uh, or a sub subset of the app that comes up that allows you to actually make the service center and a service appointment. And they, you can pick the date, you can pick the time and um, you know, it's pretty convenient. I, I kind of like that personal touch when you can call someone and talk to them here, not so much uh, with Tesla. Oftentimes what happens is once you break through that initial um, contact and initial service appointment, Tesla will actually reach out to you or a representative will reach out to you proactively and they may ask you questions or they may come back and forth with you via text, the text module in the app itself. But in this case, um, what I wanted to do was to take you through today what happened with my door handle. Um, so let's get into that right now and uh, and, and we'll, we'll, we'll check out what happened. So, you know, this is actually the first time I've ever utilized the mobile service. Um, but what's great is they, they, they bring the, all the tools with them. I mean, this, this, the trunk is, I've never seen such a messy, but yet happy trunk with all those tools in it before in a Model S. I mean, these things are huge, but what a good use of space to be able to, to, be able to do that. And I love how this Model S is, uh, is all decorated. I was on the phone with the service technician and some guy came up to him on the street and said, oh, are you here to see my Tesla? He goes, no, I'm here to see some Dave's Tesla. So it was funny. I imagine that when you're driving a Model S Tesla and it says Tesla service on it, you probably do get stopped an awful lot. But uh, we'll see. The, um, the service technician, he's brought a whole replacement assembly for my door. Interestingly enough, I mentioned that, you know, I've had historically problems with the door handles on Model S's in the past. Um, but he said that they really haven't had that many issues with the, uh, with the new, the refresh um, Model S door handles or the newer models. So he was a little surprised. Uh, mine, mine still works, you just have to really jam it out there. So rather than try and fix it, he's just gonna replace the whole thing right here on the spot, right in my parking garage where I work. How awesome is that?
get to the bolt for to get the window regulator out so he can get to the door handle, actually had to take the take the window out. So a little more complicated than I think anticipated. Interestingly, he hasn't even done one of these yet. That's because they've been so reliable. Tesla quality. We all know about that. So, but uh, he had done a front one, uh, but not the rear. So interesting that he was blocked from uh, getting that. But no fear, he's on it. He's got it. He has, he has one of those amazing screw guns and he's not afraid to use it. There we go. So the only other thing that I have wrong with my with my car, and I mentioned this in a previous video, is the yoke, the top of the steering wheel, is peeling. I mean, look at that. And and so I just mentioned this to to the technician here, and he said, put a ticket in. Um, he'll come out, replace it. It's definitely a warranted item. So I'm excited about that because. I didn't realize, I, I don't know, some, I had heard that someone was uh, saying you had to pay money, but he said, no, 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 that's warranty. So I'll put the ticket in for sure, and then he'll come out and replace my steering wheel. I mean my yoke. <laughs> that's good news. job thank you so much amazing really really happy and I will put in the ticket for the yoke um, and hopefully you'll come back again so uh, yeah most likely be me is that is that a uh, does that take long or is that a no it'll take me like I don't know, five minutes five minutes all right everyone line up for your new yoke at least I'm going to yeah That's a, listen things happen you know it's, do you know if the new yoke steering wheels that you're replacing are the same one or is there something they've done to improve them so they don't do it again? Uh, that I am not aware. Of. Not aware. Okay, whatever. Listen, whatever it is, it is. But at least I'll have a new one. And I'm sure that one will be warranted as well. But um, yeah, so. And off he goes. 
goes. The, the mystery man of Tesla service. Gotta love it. What a great job he did. Amazing.